Mr. Bigley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbigly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbigly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over on Itch.io. This is a game called Bonico, or Bonico, I'm not exactly sure how to say that, but this is a game that looked really, really cute. It's like a retro platformer style game that's allegedly very short, and it stars a little girl named Boney, who goes into a mansion looking for her missing cat. And that's all I really know about the game, apparently there's some like fun little puzzle mechanics in it as well, but let's go ahead, let's jump right into it. You guys know I'm a sucker for for cats. I love cats. They're so cute. And I also love like anime style graphics, which this game looks like it has. One day, my cat Bonico went missing. He ventured into the abandoned mansion at the edge of town. I needed him back. I'm in. Oh, look at her. She's so cute. Bonico. Oh, oh no. What happened, kitty? I'm here, Boney. He can talk? <laughs> Bonico? Is that you? Yes, I drank that delicious green fluid. But you're a bonnet now. Oh, okay, so it should probably be like Bonico, because like Bonico, Bonnet, that type of thing. And I can talk. How awesome is that? <laughs> we need to find the antidote. Yeah, I miss my legs. Can I go on your head? <laughs> oh, okay, cool. So he's a bonnet. That's very strange. I'm not sure if I would let one of my cats ride on my head, but I guess if he asked nicely, then maybe. So already I'm sensing like, you know, the very retro vibe from this game. The graphics are very sprite-like. And then at the same time, there's like this like funny little jumping noise. Uh, oh, what's over here, by the way? I, I missed something down here. Oh, a box. Okay. This box went open. We need something more powerful to break it. We should continue searching. Oh, okay. So there's, there, I, I'm assuming these are the puzzle mechanics it was talking about. But, uh, yeah, it's just got this little, like, retro platformer feel to it already. I like that a lot. I grew up with a lot of retro platformers, so it's pretty easy for me to get into this style of game. Uh, is this one going to open, too? No? Okay, so I, I have to find the thing that's more powerful. Much like the tutorial of any of these old-school style of games, you need to find the right tools to open up the pathways and things like that. What's that? The door is closed. We need to find a key. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to be easy, I'm sure. We should find keys all over the place if this is really a retro-style game. Another box. Ah, crap. Okay, so there's a crap ton of boxes. I should probably be noting their locations as I continue along here. I don't know what the other buttons do. By the way, I'm using a gamepad to play this, but, uh, let's see. Oh, okay. So there's a menu screen. I have, uh, five hearts for my health, and then there's, like, the cute little Bonico, uh, picture in the, in the corner as well. And it says, Lost and Found. I'm assuming that maybe these crates hold, like, the Lost and Found items or something? Ooh, spikes. I don't know if I want to go that way yet. Let's go back up here. Did I miss anything? There's, like, a weird-looking block. I, why can't I not jump that high? I can't jump that high. That's a bummer. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna, like, unlock a double jump or something along. Oh! Hi, spider! Hello! We're going to unlock, like, new abilities or something as the game progresses. Whoa, that was close. Those moving platforms, I had no idea that there was going to be, like, a spike pit at the bottom there. It's a good thing that it caught me, otherwise I would have been toast. All right, anything up here? Hello? Uh, just another box, it looks like. Ah, darn it, do I have to wait for this thing to really go all the way down? Nope, I can cheese the system. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, those are some tricky spikes. Ooh, a potion! What is this? It says it will make me shoot powerful fur balls. Ugh! He's going to be having, like, hairballs all the time? That's disgusting. <laughs> I know I hate it when my cats have hairballs. They're so gross. Hmm. What? Wait. With this, maybe we can break the wooden boxes. Uh, you do not mean I should drink another suspicious flask? Yeah, seriously. That's like animal abuse. Come on. It will help us get your true self back. You just have to press X to shoot. Oh, okay. So I'm unlocking abilities already. Okay, whatever. Will not be the last suspicious liquid I drink. <laughs> oh, okay, did it, did we drink it? Oh, whoa, okay, so now it's like Mega Man. And now we have a, now we have a key? All right, let's go back this way. Let's actually unlock that box. That, oh, hi. Uh, oh, okay, we killed the enemy. A ball of yarn? Are these monsters made of yarn? Another cat-themed thing. If it was the trend here, or if it is the trend here, I like this place. Keep collecting those balls. I need them for reasons. <laughs> this cat oh, this way's blocked off now. Interesting. I can't shoot through that? No? Okay. All right. So this game became like Mega Man all of a sudden. Ooh, I got a heart out of that. I probably didn't need it right now, but that's nice to know that there's like some replenishable health, I guess. All right. Oh, wow. We used the key automatically. 
Whoa, what are those things? This mansion was empty a moment ago. They seem to be hostile. We should try firing furballs at them. We must find the antidote to get my body back, no matter how. Okay, sure, let's, uh, well, we need the, uh, the balls of yarn anyway, so these things take three. Oh, whoa, that guy shot me. What the heck? Dude, what the heck, man? Okay, we're gonna wait for him to go by. Yeah, there we go. We gotcha. So hopefully we can find another heart because, like, oopsie, we already got hit. That's not very good. Look at those laser guys. These laser guys are, are crazy. Get out of the way, man. We gotta shoot you in the face. Bop, bop, bop. Or in the back of the head, I guess. Another heart, please? No? What is this? Hey, I remember this thing. It was thrown over the fence by the kids. I thought it was lost and gone forever. Oh, wait. I didn't pick it up. I need it. Ah, okay. Is this one of the lost and found things? Yeah, okay, cool. So there's 60 balls of yarn I need to collect. That's a lot more than I thought there was going to be. But there's only like eight objects. So maybe we just need to get the eight objects or something? I don't know. All right, cool. Oh, that's weird. We jumped up there finally. And we got a heart. Uh, what's that? Oh. Oh, that was weird. That platform moved by itself. That's strange. So there's like uh, collapsible platforms and things like that. We're just going around killing all the enemies. Bap, 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 bap. Oh, this spider takes a lot of hits. Wow. Okay. And then what's in this box? I don't want to miss any of the boxes. Is that another? Wow, we already got two of the lost and found. And we're already a sixth of the way done with our... Oh, that was blocked off. God damn it. Okay, that's fine, because that just loops around anyway. But, uh, yeah, okay, so this might actually be a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be, which is fine. I, I, I like these types of little games that are just sort of short, self-contained adventures. Now, apparently this game was made by two senior university students, so that's really impressive already to me, that, like, some, like, college-level kids made this. And they apparently made it just for fun, for, like, themselves, like a, a fun little passion project, and they didn't plan on releasing it. So, uh, it's kind of cool that they made it available for the public, especially because it's so cute, and it's, like, really fun so far. I dig it a lot. It controls pretty well. Uh oh whoa, 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 buddy, can we talk about this? Can we maybe not have you shoot your stupid eyeball laser at me? Oh, shit. Balls. Come on, Mega Man skills. Get... Oh, my God. I'm going to get owned by this thing. There we go. Shot him in the face. Oh, I could have just jumped on that platform and probably spammed him right point blank. Ah, nice. Another little key. Very good. I like that. Ah, bam, bam, bam. We're just flying through here, guys. How many uh, balls of yarn? 14 to 60 already. Very nice. There's another... Oh, come on, man. Oh, that was a cheap shot at the end there. Oh, wow. Look at all the spikes there. There's a box down there. I don't want to miss any of the boxes. I have a feeling I need them for reasons. I don't know why there's lost and found toys either. That's really strange that they're in this mansion where our cat happened to be missing and transformed into this weird thing. By the way, I have no idea. Ooh, that was, oh, my God. Collapsible uh, platforms again. <laughs> that was close. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's really weird what's going on here. I have no idea why... Ooh, is this going to be a boss fight? It's like a Mega Man door here. It's like the little tunnel leading up to a boss fight. No? Okay, just a different section of the map. So I guess it's more like Castlevania than Mega Man. But, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really get the story here that's going on. But uh, it's kind of cute so far. I really like the art a lot. And like I said, the gameplay is pretty nice and easy. Ooh, another lost and found. Man. That's three. That was a nice little doll. We got a yo-yo, a basketball, lots of little toys, kids' toys. So I wonder if that's going to, like, play into this at all. Ha! Ha uh, yeah. Oh, wow. He tried to get me with that last one. Piece of shit. Get out of here, man. Got another key. We are definitely flying through this, though. This is really, really cute and fun so far. It's very epic, too. The music really, like, pumps me up here. Uh... And, uh, I, I like the platforming elements, because, like I said, it reminds me a lot of, like, games I played when I was younger. Come on! Die, spider! I want to get rid of you, man. You're in the way. Get out of here. Give me your ball of yarn. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm going to get all of your balls. Ha <laughs> ha. That didn't sound right, but that's okay. Nobody cares. So we're a third of the way done with the balls of yarn, and then we got three out of the eight objects. This is going to be a quick game, I have a feeling, which is great. I like that. It's very, very cute, though. I like Boney. Boney is really a very cute character, and uh, so is Boneco. Bon Boneco. Bo Boney. I, d I don't know what their names are. <laughs> I mean, obviously, you pronounce... Oh, that was close, dude. Um, you pronounce the protagonist's name Boney, but I don't know how to say the main character's name, or the... I guess the title character's name. Is it Bonico or Boneco? You guys let me know down below how you think you should say it. Uh... But, uh, yeah, we're flying through here. This is good. This is good, 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 good stuff. It's so cute, though. And I like the level design. It's not too bad so far. Uh, what's this? Oh, oh, those are squishy things. We do not want to get hit by squishy things. Let's explore up this way first. Because, uh, oh, god damn it, dude. Come on, you piece of shit. Oh, is this another potion? What is that now? 
the giant furball smash attack. Why are all these flasks about furballs? It's so uh, disgusting. Press down in the air to smash the ground. At this point, I may as well drink anything we find. <laughs> poor, uh, poor Bonico. Bonico. Oh, okay, it's blocked off again, so I gotta press down. Oh, so we got more abilities. This is so cool. I like that it's unlocking new things. This is really neat. All right, is that gonna help us pass these smasher things? Oh, 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 don't squish me, bro. I don't want to get squished. I'm really scared of getting squished here. Get out of here, things. Can I blow those up or anything? Hello, where'd you go? There we go. Yeah, I was gonna wait for it because I don't want to get killed by that. Oh, oh, I get scared of the squishy things and there's something down there. Do I want to go down that way or do I want to go down this way? Oh, there's a box down there, this one. So let's go down this way. Yeah, what do we get? A boomerang. Okay, another little toy. That's cool. I dig it. It's very groovy. All right, and then, oh, oh what the heck? Oh, oh, oh no, oh no. Did I miss something up there? Crap. Ow, dude, what the heck, eyeball guys? Oh, I deflected a shot? You can do that? Damn. Good thing there's all these hearts strewn about, by the way. Because I, I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Ooh, that was lucky. I almost went all the way through the floor. I would have missed this box up here, which has a a boot? We got a boot here as well. I, I don't know if you can, like, use these items. Are there actually any use for these items? Or is, are these just collectibles and you, like, have to find... Oh, god damn it! Smash your thing! Dude, come on! Chill the frick... What? Uh, so many things are happening right now. Ow! What the heck, man? What are those things? What is that guy? He's like a big eyeball rock thing. He's spitting out little rocks at me. What a douchebag. I just got that heart back too, dude. Aw, oh, man. I need more health, like, immediately. This game's not that hard so far, but it definitely does have that, like, retro feel of difficulty where it's, like, a little bit challenging, but it's not, like, overly... Uh, difficult or anything like that and I dig that about it so far and we have over half oh god son of a bitch these things are like really annoying I do not like you can I squish you Waboom! oh wow okay yeah that worked that was very effective I'm okay with that so we should squish those guys from now on because they're definitely douchebag suit uh oh a little bit of lag here in the game that was weird that spider slowed me down what was going on with you man all right boom and like I said before there's um there's like a little bit of like uh, probably laggy coding in this or anything like that because uh, the people who made it were just university students who did this as a fun little project. So if we have a little bit of that now and then, it could be potato sans fault. I mean, it could be my PC's fault. Who knows? Oh, hey, what's up, sneaky boy? Got you in the face. Yeah. You'll never blink at me again with your single eye. God damn it. I missed that elevator. Now I got to wait forever. Son of a biscuit. All right. Well, that's fine. That's fine. I got all the time in the world, and by all the time in the world, I mean, no, I don't. I'm going to set a speedrun record. I'm doing the best. All right, something down here. Anything? Oh, yeah. You know, another heart? No, a car. A little toy car, and now we only need two more toys. Then we have all the toys in the land, and we're the greediest child. Uh, the greediest, greediest uh, child that Christmas day. God damn it, let me jump up there. Can I even make that jump? I don't know if I can. Ooh, I can. Am I supposed to be up here? No, I'm not even supposed to be up there. God, God, Fruit Loops, let me, let me up there. Give me, give me the platform, please. Oh no, there's a guy up there. Ah, uh, oh, I got him before he could, could touch me with his laser. Whoa, there's squishy things up there, for sure. I like this game so far. It's really, really cool. It's got like very traditional style traps and everything, and traditional style enemies and things like that. But it's like. I don't know, really well executed. God damn it. Except it's it's very, very difficult for someone who sucks at video games like me. Ah, poopy. All right, so we're two-thirds of the way there with the ballsy yarn. Ooh, another heart. Thank goodness gravy. That's all I got to say. And this guy's going to sit there and get shot in the back of the head. Yeah, I donkey punched you with my shots, man. How did... Oh, you son of a bitch. You're, you're mad just because I killed your cousin? You son of a biscuit. All right, that's fine. We got another heart back. We got a key. Nice. Very, very good. And we got some, uh, some, some good stuff here. We got some balls of yarn. That's what I meant to say. Oh, man. So easy to get, like, lost in these style of games, though. Oh, that was close. I almost walked under that. I think, I think I could have made it, though. I'm just being kind of a pussy. Ha! That's fitting, though, because it's about kitties, right? Ha! But, uh, yeah. Now we should be able to go back to that locked door and progress. A little bit more here uh, is that really all the way at the bottom oh my gosh that's like all the way near the start of the level all right yeah let's get the heck out of there let's get the hecky heck out of there boom 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 you're dead you're dead you're dead oh there's another laser guy gotta be careful of him 
Boom. Right, now, if you keep them, like, right outside your range, it looks like you can kill them. Now, can I get through this? Is this a platform? Yeah, that platform moved for me. Oh, that was close. Dude, no. No platform. Oh, that was weird. I got, like, glitched out for a second. Spider, are you freaking fracking killing, kidding me, you piece of shit. That's gonna take eight years to kill this dude. Come on, man. Get out of the way. Ah, uh, there. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Another heart? No? A slingshot. I wish you could, like, equip some of the items. That'd be cool if I could slingshot that thing out of the way. Uh, platform? Come back. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright, we'll get out of there. We only have two hearts. This is not very good. I'm not been very good about uh, managing my time. What is this thing? It's a rope. Maybe it's a new ability. Ah, yeah, we got a new ability. I've been very, very bad about managing my health so far in this game, though. I made a lot of slip-ups. Oh, this one is different. In case you're afraid of heights. I, I am a cat. I am never afraid of heights. That is all it says. You should drink it just in case. The previous ones were pretty useful. I will drink it, but only because those are yummy. Oh, so he actually likes drinking the potions. That's funny. So we need 11 more balls of yarn and only one more lost and found object. What? Hello? Uh... Who dares to enter my house? What is with this wicked witch of the west? What's going on here? Whoa, someone is really living here? She must be the one obsessed with cat stuff. Yes, and it seems we have a nice specimen here. This cat is mine. You will never see the light again, little girl. Oh, okay. Oh, what do I do? Oh, 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 oh. What, what, what's going on? I was jamming on the jump key. Oh, do I have to just run from her? What the heck? Is, oh, I hate chase scenes in these games, but it wouldn't be one of these types of games without a chase scene. Holy crap, I gotta jam on the jump button to make that basket go. That sucks. Oh my god, she's chasing me. She's pretty quick too. Ow, a rock hit me in the fucking head. That's so stupid. I hate these little rock guys. Get out of the way. She's catching up to me, man. Get out of here, giant goober eyeball stupid asshole thing. Okay. You too, spiders. I don't really need to kill them, do I? But I need the balls of yarn, don't I? Oh, shit. She's, like, right there. Oh, oh, bitch. Chill out. Please, witchy bitchy bitch. Ow, laser guy. Why would you be there of all places? You son of a bitch. Give me the elevator, please. Ah, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Okay. I, I, I'm making okay time. Man, this is some intense-ass music, too. Oh, wow. Get out of the way, spiky dude. I don't think I can stomp on those guys. I, I feel like that's uh, that's something that's hard to do. Oh, she's right there. Can she move through the wall? Oh, oh my god. I thought she could go through, like, the ceiling and the floor there. And I was like, I'm dead. I'm just, like, fucking dead. Oh, is she a one-hit kill, too? I don't know if she, if she touches me if I die immediately or not. Okay, run across this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, she's right there. She can't go through those other blocks, can she? I don't think so. Oh, wow, that was some freaking close, crazy maneuvering. You gotta be kidding me. No, no, let me up, you fuck. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. She's right there. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. Holy shit, 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 shit. Give me the ball of yarn. I'm only one ball of yarn away. Is this something special happen? Do I get like a level up or something? Or a, a, a life up? She is right there. I'm gonna skip that spider. Fuck! I shouldn't have skipped the spider. I should have killed him. I died. What the hell happens now? Was there a checkpoint or anything? Uh, hello? Uh, the game. Oh, it, it just sets me up by the potion. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and give this another try, guys. That was intense. I hate chase scenes in these types of games. All right, I'm making pretty good time this time around, guys. The nice thing is, is that it gave me full health this time at the checkpoint, which is really, really good because I needed it. All right, so this is where I, we died before. Uh, die, spider dude, just get out of the way, please. Get the fuck out of the way. All right. There's all these, all these things. Man, she's right there. Oh, she's right there. She's right there. It's freaking me out, man. I hate these chase scenes. Please, go. Go, 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 go up. This looks like an exit. Oh, we're so close. I have a feeling. I can just sense it. All right. I don't care about those boxes I missed. That's fine. I don't give a crap about them. I just need to get out of here unless they're, like, necessary. Oh, there's so many enemies. Ow, ow, ow. Stop shooting me. Is this the exit? Did we do it? I think we did it. But now do we have, like, a boss fight or something? I have no idea. Dead end. Mwahaha! <laughs> you will not go anywhere! It is the end, Bonico. No, look, she has the antidote on her. I must try to take it. But how? The cat is mine. Die, little girl. God, you're a vindictive, malicious witch. Bony! Oh. Oh, what's he doing? <laughs> he just, like, tore her eyes out and, like, got a potion from her. I got the flask. Now go. We are not afraid of heights. Oh, yeah, because the last potion we drank. Oh! Oh, is it going to be a flying level? 
Oh, the end. Oh, okay. I thought there was going to be like a flying level and we we're going to like boss battle her in the air or something. Oh, the that is cool. All right. So the layout of the level actually spelled end. What a cute little game. So that was the end of it. A game by William Roth and Ma Maliga Grandparent. I'm sorry if I butchered those names, but wow. That was really fun. Really cute game. There's a lot of character in that, and I liked it a lot. Um, like I said, pretty short, only like 20-ish minutes. So it had a decent like difficulty curve. I don't know if I got all the objects or if I needed to get all the objects, but I know I got the 60 balls of yarn, and there were way more enemies than 60, so there was plenty of opportunities for me to pick up everything. But the, I, I like the sprite work. I like the character designs. Oh, I missed one object. I bet it was in those boxes that I skipped near the end because I was panicking. But... Damn, thank you for playing. Well, thank you for making the game, devs. That was a fun little adventure. I like that there was all the little dialogue between the main character and the cat hat. And yeah, that was just Bonaco, guys. I guess that was just, once again, a student project. It would be cool to see if the devs, uh, you know, expand upon this and, and tell us what happens to Bonaco. But uh, yeah, it's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye. Sir Piggly.